Hello people, welcome to another edition of Inner Space and how y'all doing? Hope y'all doing good today. So today we're gonna make something amazing. It's a Ghanaian dish and it's from the northern region. I'm sure y'all know what it is, eh? Wachi. Auntie Muni's Wachi, eh? Amelia's Wachi. The one that you go to the junction, eh? To go and buy. No, at 25 city, 10 city, no. I'm about to show you how to make it. And where, wherever you are, wherever you're living, it's so, so easy to make in a quick time of 30 minutes. I know. Start watching, no. Auntie Muni watching. You will chop some pay. If you just follow these steps and these recipes, it's so easy. All right, and it's so quick you don't have to do anything and I really recommend this for mostly mothers or people always on the move maybe because of your job I recommend this eh sit down let's make some antimony watching and oh thank you all for subscribing to my channel if you're new to my channel welcome to Ever space where we make everything food we, we talk about faith and we talk about my lifestyle I show forth all my lifestyle what I do daily so today welcome to my channel and if you are a subscriber hey, thank you for sticking around today we're gonna make watch share your it's so easy and no baking soda needed this is just the sogum leaves and then the white on the bells okay stay tuned you're gonna have fun go ahead and show you the ingredients for this so we have beans Obviously, we need some beans for some wache, you know. There's like two and a half cups of beans. We have some rice here. And I like to cook my beans with some onions. I love onions. So these are some chopped onions. And then we have the sogum leaves. I'm going to go ahead and show you how I make this so easy. So I have a thread here, right? This is a thread, right? It was, it was put in hot water, washed and sanitize. I have my sogum leaves here. Watch your leaves no. Uh -huh. Watch your habano. And I'm gonna tie it. The reason why I do that is uh, it becomes really annoying when you're taking it out of the rice when it's done. You have to kind of just dig through and look for it. I don't want to go through all that. So what I'm gonna do is the thread. I'm just gonna tie it. And before I did anything, I did. I went ahead to actually wash my hands. Okay. So please. Before you touch any food, let's wash our hands, all right? Especially in these times. So yes, I'm tying it up. Just a knot, like your regular, the way you would tie anything else. See, I'm gonna tie it another one so it doesn't come off or rip off during cooking process. And then I'm gonna keep tying it till I, I'm satisfied with the way my knot is firm. All right, so I'll tie it another time. And then I think I'm good. Grab my scissors and cut it. Hey, scissors, wait. It's off. I know I fool. There we go. Oh my god. I need to sharpen my scissors. But, anyways, yeah. So tie it up. And then, so we have our sodium leaves just like this. See? All tied up. And cheers. I'm having some malt. And I also went ahead to put my water on fire. I have boiling water on fire. And this makes the cooking process so, so fast. When your water is already boiling, before you actually go ahead and pour your beans in, it cooks faster. This is my beans. I've already washed my beans. I'm gonna go ahead, pour it in there, all of it, everything. And I'm gonna bring it closer so you guys can see it. So this is the beans. The water is a lot because we obviously are gonna add um, rice to it. So we try to make the water to a certain amount. So if maybe I had two cups of beans, I'm gonna do four cups of water, you know, like the ratio kind of. So this is my beans, <gasps> my bones. Okay. okay, so I put my beans in, stir it up, as I said, I love love onion so just to, onion gives it some flavor that I really love it's optional you don't have to do this part but here goes the onions in we're gonna leave this to cook for like I'd say up to 15 to 20 minutes mind you because we already 
boiled water before putting in the beans, it's gonna cook faster because the water is already hot. It just needs to boil up a little bit and then we'll come back again. You're gonna cover it up. You leave it to boil for 10 to 15 minutes and then I'll be back to show you. This antimony wache and shit with some shito pan hmm, and some wache stew. Hey, Jai. But you know, we're gonna come back and then we're gonna check on this again. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so we're back again and we're gonna check our beans. Stir it up. And we still have a lot of the water on it and that's what we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and see. It has to be just halfway cooked. And then we're gonna go ahead to add the leaves just in there like that. You don't need to like try to separate it no it's bundled up just press it into it just so the water the color of the leaves will go into the water i'll give you a closer look of what i'm talking about so you see see the water is turning red we're gonna push it all the way in and then we're gonna cover it up and then we're gonna cover it up Okay, I'm gonna go ahead, cover it up to fully or almost cook the beans. Whilst the water is actually getting, like turning the whole thing red, like the leaves is turning the, the water red, we're gonna cook it up for 10 more minutes. Then I'll show you how the magic is done. This antimony watching, Jai, a bayer de keke. When this leaves soak inside the water, <laughs> stop. You, and I'll tell you this, try it at home. Give it a try. First time might not be the best, but keep trying and don't give up. Okay, so this is pretty much, see how red, the richness, see the red? That's what we're looking for. So I'm gonna grab an aluminum pan, like this. And then this is what we're gonna do. Set it down. Grab my rice. And the aluminum pan is already washed, right? Things are washed. Our rice is in the pan. And this is why you have to be careful because this is hot to grab a napkin. And we're gonna gonna turn off the fire because so that's done is thin and then we're gonna pour it on but before then let me take this out Grab. so you grab this out and I'm still gonna put it on the rice because I still want that color in there I don't waste anything everything has to be used. I'm gonna just push it in there. And then we're gonna pour the beans. We're gonna pour the beans with the water into it. Here we go. You have to be very careful here when pouring it. Pour it. So I went ahead to actually divide the pan so I can have two separate pans because I didn't I don't have a bigger pan. So I'm just now stirring it together equally actually. This is the first one. This is how it looks like. See? And then I'm gonna set this aside and I'm gonna stir this one as well. I drained out all the beans and that, that is the water. We're gonna need the water. For later I'll show you guys so stir this one up also and we still have the ahabino inside yes the watching leaves inside I went ahead to set my um, my oven for 355 and then I'm gonna pop this in I'm so excited about this all right we're gonna cover it up with an aluminum foil, and then we're gonna pop it right into the oven. 
All right, so this is my aluminum foil. Gonna cover it up. I'll cover this one first. And when I cover it, I'm gonna make holes into it. And I forgot to say one thing that I learned this fast recipe from one of my beautiful aunties, Auntie Kelly. Shout out to you. I learned this from her during our Thanksgiving dinner. It was the fastest way we cooked our watch and it tasted like Ghana watch. Since then, I've been hooked to this method and I thought I'll share with you guys. So I'm gonna put the first one into the oven. The oven is hot. And then we're gonna cover up this also. Okay, so I went ahead to actually um, take it out of the oven in like 10 minutes to check up on it. And it was halfway cooked, so I went ahead to add more water to it. And it depends on how you want your rice to be. Um, if you want it soft, you add more water. If you want it um, not really soggy, you don't. Or you just kind of test it, um, test it out, depending on how you cook your normal rice. So I'm, now I'm just stirring it. I'm bringing the top to the the bottom and then sending the bottom to the top just so um, it's evenly distributed. The water is evenly distributed throughout the rice. And that's pretty much what I'm doing at this time. And I'm going to cover it back again and actually put it back in the oven so it could cook a little more. Again, it depends on how you want your rice to be. If you want it to be more firm, less water. If you want it to be a little more softer, more water. So I'm just covering it back and putting it back in the oven. All right? <laughs> this is going to be so good. Some good wachi. Okay, guys. So it's time for us to check on our wachi. Look at it. The antique muni Oh my God. Can you see this? See? Can you see? Woo! I don't know about you, but I am already hungry. All you need is that watches stew with that shit on. Hey, Rade. Look at this. Antique muni right in your home, in an oven within 30 minutes. Okay guys, thank you for sticking around. The Auntie Muni Wachino, you know, the Amelia Wachi. It's ready and you can serve it this way. You can add your gari, you can add your spaghetti, some nice sauce, some chicken, anything you want. And the nutritious part about this is, there's beans in it, which is very good. See all that beauty? Wow. I can't wait for you guys to try it like share and subscribe and let us become a family and also comment under below when you try this let me know how you go about it if you tried anything new or a new way to cook watch it please let me know but this auntie muni watch it hey it's kicking all areas thank you all so much for watching love you all and be blessed bye